Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for October 15th, 2019. Well, today we begin our fourth quarter earnings season, and all the all the excitement is probably ramping up today as we head into this fourth quarter earnings. Will we see? good results as we progress through these earnings or are we going to see the fears of economic slowdown begin to show themselves in these earnings results yet to be seen right now this morning though futures are positive we've been up as much as 120 points in the futures right now we're showing 91 points up in the dow futures looking for a gap up open this morning as we um, let these earnings results come out and they're moving around as we speak pretty substantially so keep focus on that i would expect probably more than a 100 point gap up this morning um if j just as a guess um as results continue to roll out so let's take a look at the technicals of the chart and see what we have here first off it's going to be really important i think for our earnings to produce pretty darn well because remember we have a substantial gap here that could be easily filled if the market somehow gets disappointed at all in earnings results we could see that gap um, quickly get filled and slide south so we'll want to watch that pretty darn close as these earnings results come out will we see that negative reaction um, in those moves uh, in that move back down so we'll want to watch that closely we also have to keep in mind that we are still dealing with a potential downtrend here in the chart. So we need to see that bullishness push us confidently up and continue to hold us up here um, or these technicals can begin to cause us some trouble. Now the good news is we're above our 50 day moving average and even if we do slip back we could hold above that 50-day moving average but if earnings were to start coming in poor uh, poorly that could be a real problem for the market right now I don't see that but we do have to remember that that is certainly possible so keep an eye um, on this pretty closely today and just realize that we're not showing lots and lots of confidence here in the market, but it is slightly improving. And hopefully with some with the earnings results, we can begin to focus in another place, kind of get off of this new spin cycle. Um, even though there's still lots of uncertainty out there continuing to swirl around with um, new tariffs going into place on Turkey, trying to punish them for the invasion of Syria um, and that escalation that's going on over there, the uncertainty of impeachment, the uncertainty of this trade deal, uh, so-called phase one trade deal that's now being called more of a just simply a trade war ceasefire, temporary ceasefire, and um, all of these things swirling about out there. So we're going to have to Stay very nimble and watch uh, the price action very closely for clues um, in the market. So let's take a look and see what's going on here in the SPY. Virtually the same situation in, this, in the SPY. Certainly not overly confident with the price action that we've seen here. And let's keep in mind that we still are in that potential of that downtrend here holding above the 50-day moving average and a gap below so that could be a problem for us if if earnings disappoint right now we're looking at a gap up open that's holding up well but we're certainly still below our downtrend here so we'll have to watch that pretty close as we move on forward um, in these earnings reports so keep that in mind some some just some cautionary signs here where we're just going to have to be very focused on price action and careful how we move forward let's take a look at the cues cues same situation holding above 
its 50 day moving average with a gap below that could easily get filled and this morning bullishness coming into the queues now it's kind of interesting that we're seeing so much bullishness in the queues considering they're really isn't too much reason for the queues to be bullish this morning on earnings reports we're responding to more of the bank earnings reports here this morning but we'll want to watch that pretty closely um, as the day progresses um, and see whether or not that can help push these uh, futures on higher by the way guys it looks like we just had a earnings report um, from Goldman Sachs uh, Goldman Sachs has apparently missed on their earnings report they're gapping lower um, that is drawing the futures down as I speak we're down about 80 to about 80 points in gap up so we're gonna have to watch these few um, earnings pretty carefully this morning as they roll out let's take a look at IWM IWM struggling 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 right here at its 50-day moving average notice its 50-day moving average continu continuing to decline we have the death cross 50 crossing down through the 200 not a good sign and so far we have not been able to show any concerted effort here to try and lift that IWM back up perhaps today we still have a downtrend in play here on IWM and we're building a considerably large wedge pattern in here that if we were to fail below this level we have some problems um, we have a big open hole here in the bottom so we'll have to watch that pretty close let's hope um, those bulls are inspired enough to bring us up and pop us out through that resistance level in that downtrend on IWM. Let's take a look at the, the VIX this morning. Now the VIX technicals have been all over the map. They, we've been bouncing all over the place. And um, yesterday's um, price action, uh, even though we went nowhere, saw fear dropping significantly yesterday, which is kind of interesting. The price action was just dead um, yesterday, but we saw fear dropping. And so right now we have um, the VIX back below this support level. Not much fear here in the market, and we're in this um, decline here um, overall in a downtrend so fear right now is staying relatively low there's uh, must be a tremendous confidence that the earnings are going to produce quite well so we'll want to watch that pretty closely and as you can see this trend right here uh, could be the place if we slip down into here we could come all the way back down into here to find support and that's to me that's getting into extreme complacency um, with all the uncertainty in the market but hey that's certainly possible now if we bounce back above and hold in here that's where we start to have those concerns of that bit of fear creeping back into the market so we'll want to watch that pretty closely today let's take a look at um, t2122 which is the four week new high new low ratio now interestingly enough even though the market really didn't move much we saw fear drop but we also saw t2122 drop and so that opens a significant um, door to a, an upside move and we're getting this gap up this morning possibly that could really rally us up substantially here overall but we also have to recognize the fact that if those earnings were to disappoint um, we still have this um, opening to the downside so let's see those bulls push on up right now Dow futures up 82 points and we're trying to push higher even though uh, Goldman Sachs kind of disappointed this morning let's take a look at our economic calendar in our economic calendar today we have very little for the market to react to this morning um, except um, uh, parade of Fed speakers here um, these Fed speakers can't seem to get away from a microphone here lately lots of uh, note settlements and lots of bond auctions and, and announcements but really nothing else to really move us along um, 
we have uh, retail sales tomorrow and that will be really important for the market so we'll want to watch that tomorrow but so far today not too much going on everyone's going to be focused on earnings reports and we have a significant number of those this morning uh, about 42 companies reporting earnings and we have some real key earnings this morning to pay attention to now jp morgan has already produced a good report this morning gapping up this morning let's note that we're gapping up into to a price resistance so let's keep that in mind we don't want to be chasing stocks right into price resistance but we're getting that nice gap up that's helping the market this morning looking at Citibank and I honestly I haven't seen a report from them yet uh, maybe they have already reported but let's note that they are also gapping up right into this price resistance area of a chart so be careful on that as we gap up this morning and we're gonna see lots of uh, lots of these bank reports this morning key bank reports yet today uh, BlackRock reports yet today um, SEHW Schwab um, reports today looks like they're gapping just a little higher this morning perhaps reported notice that we're still in an ugly ugly downtrend and Schwab's gonna have a hard time with this new uh, zero uh, commission rate for stocks Goldman Sachs as I reported earlier missed on earnings and gap down gapping down a little bit but it looks like it's trying to recover um, on um, that uh, gap down this morning so we'll have to keep an eye on that we also have reports from like j and j this morning getting a gap up here in j and j um and just quite a few other companies wfc reporting this morning uh doesn't look like it has reported yet maybe it has gapping up a little bit this morning so um, by and large it looks like we're holding up pretty well in some of this um um, earnings results here today so let's watch that pretty close as the day goes on so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all a great day in trading I want to wish you great profits and if this is the first time you've seen these videos would you please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up and if you found this video worthy or useful at all in helping you kind of focus in on the details of the day, um, kind of uh, avoid the hype and the drama of the day and helps you focus in on the technicals of the chart and what you may have to um, look at. Um, in the day if you find that useful could you please click those thumbs up buttons and also leave a comment um, truly truly appreciate that guys and and that is what makes um, this channel grow where we can reach more folks and I truly truly want to say thank you to everyone who takes the time to do that you guys are awesome I I, I really really appreciate it you guys are the best so with that let's take a look at some stocks that um, continue to set up continue to look pretty darn good and we'll have to wait and see if those actually follow through today with some of those uh, with some of these earnings um, holding up very well let's take a look at Nike Nike has been looking really really good and if we check out this chart and, and notice that we have a beautiful uptrend going on here and yesterday kind of breaking out through this um, area up here Nike looking really good and doesn't report until 1219 so the bullishness of the the market looks like it's moving it higher here this morning any rest or consolidation or pullback in here could set up a next opportunity in Nike but Nike holding up really well looking great overall seeing quite a lot of movement in some of these uh, retail stocks uh, WMT just for full disclosure I've been holding WMT as a long-term trade uh, since this little arrow back here I'm um, still holding this trade very very happy about the position as you might imagine and you can see that WMT is holding up very very well now we pulled back a little bit yesterday and I would expect after such a, a big run up some kind of a consolidation or rest so let's watch this in this area if we pull back into here rest hold above this support area I think we'll be in good shape to maybe move higher so keep an eye on WMT uh, retail 
is holding up and looking surprisingly strong right now. A SOC OKTA. Now, OKTA tried to move higher yesterday, and I have an alert right here. It tried to move higher and ended up pulling back. Now, I don't know if this can hold in this pattern. We're dealing with this price resistance right here, but I do like this higher low starting to show up in here. Now, I don't know where this trend might come into play but if OKTA can hold in this area we might want to watch for that next move higher just keeping in mind that we still have a downtrend in play on that chart take a look at dollar general dollar general moved up really nicely here recently have a nice little trend in place on dollar general we moved up a little shooting star top and a, a failure pattern here yesterday is a little bit of concern but if the market remains bullish this could consolidate right through here and then head on higher so keep an eye on dollar general it's holding up pretty well home is another place that i really think this chart has some potential um home gapping not gapping but breaking above this uh gap area here and now pulling back just slightly so if this can hold up in here hold that support then i would look for home to maybe push on up filling this gap overall so keep an eye on that one apple has been looking really really good really strong in its move and i would expect some kind of a rest or pullback to to occur at any time particularly if i use this trend right here any rest or consolidation in this area uh, for that potential move higher. Keep in mind, Apple likes to gravitate up toward earnings and it's been very, very strong here overall. So looking good here on Apple. Might wanna take a look at um, LW. LW has been in this beautiful upside trend. Nice little consolidating move here. So if that moves over, just like we did right in here, right in here, that little light little pullback consolidating move into the trend we might want to watch for that next potential entry here into the chart um, that's looking pretty darn good um, overall so keep an eye on it check out lulu lulu seems to be holding up very very well and we saw last quarter that they had really great results in their earnings based on um, uh, men's workout equipment and uh, workout gear. And as you can see, Lulu um, showing lots of strength here. I do think there's a chance with this high up here and that shooting star top up here that we could see a little bit of rest or pullback in this chart heading in toward these earnings though we could get that rest and continue to move on up so let's watch that one close so guys i hope you found something in this video that was helpful a few charts that might be working out there's off um obviously a lot of reason to be just a little bit cautious as we move forward um, with all the uncertainty and the political uncertainty that continues to spin. Um, as I wrap up this video today, I want to wish you all a great day and I want to wish you, if you've been struggling as a trader, that you um, just stick to it. Um, keep practicing, stick to it. I know it's been really, really tough, but one of the things that tends to happen is as earnings come out, things start to work out, things start to smooth out, and we start to get a little bit better direction in the market. And, and remember, it really doesn't matter if the market goes up or it goes down. As long as we have a direction and good technicals to work with, we can make money. So keep that in mind. Stay flexible. Stay focused on this price action. And I wish you all the very best today. Everyone take care. We'll talk to you bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one.